Hello everyone, Billy from Puck Rivals here again to bring you another video in the Top 5 Prospect series, covering yet another original 16, this time the New York Rangers. Ever since the Rangers formally announced the team was going to go through a rebuild, they have really stocked the prospect cupboards full of talent. It's been a model rebuild for New York. Lottery luck helps with that, but hey, that's just how things go sometimes. A prospect is eligible for these rankings if they are under the age of 24 and have not played more than 25 games in a single NHL season. Leave a comment on your top 5 Rangers prospects, and with that, let's get started. So first, taking a look at the Rangers graduates, there's quite a few here that are no longer prospects for these rankings. Adam Fox, Capo Caco, Ryan Lindgren, Libor Hayek all played more than 25 games last NHL season thus making them ineligible for these rankings. Igor Shesterkin graduates due to the age requirement. You'd think that the Rangers pool wouldn't be nearly as strong as it was, losing significant prospects such as Fox, Kako, and Shesterkin, but let's go on and I'll show you that is not the case. Alright, starting at number 5, we have one of the Rangers' two new first rounders from the 2020 draft in Braden Schneider. The Wheat Kings blue liner saw his point totals jump very nicely in the WHL for his draft year ultimately going to the Rangers in the first round. Schneider is a two-way defenseman who skates well and makes a good first pass. He also uses his size to his advantage as he's always engaged physically and battles in front of the net to clear space. With the Rangers being fairly deep on their right side of defense, it could bode well for Schneider as it allows him ample time to develop his game for the NHL level, as the team has no need to rush him into the lineup. Next up at number 4, we've got another defenseman, who is actually converted from forward too. This time a lefty, Keandre Miller. Miller has played the last two seasons in the NCAA with Wisconsin after being a first round selection in 2018. Miller had a great freshman year, almost going a point per game. However, his sophomore year, this last year, was a bit disappointing, putting up less points in 10 more games than his freshman year. Granted, the team wasn't the best. Still though, Miller is a fine prospect with a lot of raw talent. He has a good skating ability and offensive skills that a lot of teams would like to have. He has turned pro for the upcoming season and should be a very interesting prospect to watch develop. He could potentially get a cup of coffee at the NHL level if he finds his stride in the AHL this year. If this guy reaches his ceiling, he could be a very dangerous player from the blue line. Coming in at number 3, we have yet another defenseman, this time a Swede in Nils Lundqvist. Also a first rounder in 2018, Lungfist is a classic Swedish D-man. He's a mobile puck mover that likes to join the rush and provide offense. He's been playing professionally in the SHL the last few years and has produced quite well for a young D-man. Last year he put up 31 points in 45 games and has been off to a good start so far in the 2021 season. I have Lungfist at 3 and Miller at 4 due to the fact that Lungfist took a big step up in a professional men's league, whereas Miller seemed to take a step back against his own age group. And like Braden Schneider, Lungfist has time to hone his skills a little more before making the jump as the logjam at right D becomes more crowded. Moving on to number 2, we have the first forward on the list, and it's none other than Vitaly Kravtsov. Kravtsov generated a ton of hype leading up to his draft, where the Rangers ended up selecting him 9th overall in 2018. Last season wasn't the best for the Russian though. He had a great draft plus one year in the KHL, but when he came over to the AHL last season, I think maybe expectations might have been a bit high for him. He put up 15 points in 39 AHL games before heading back to Russia for a few games. However, this season Kravtsov has had a great start in the KHL with 8 goals and 11 points in 20 games so far. It's a step in the right direction for the highly touted prospect. He's a big skilled winger that can fit anywhere in the lineup and provide scoring in multiple different ways. The ceiling for him is quite high, so we'll just have to see how he develops in the KHL this year and when he transitions to North America once again. Lastly, we have the Rangers' number one prospect and it's probably the easiest one ever to guess. It's 2020 first overall pick Alexis Lafreniere. This guy is so good, we knew he was going to go first in this draft for a few years. He is hands down the best NHL prospect right now, however that won't last very long because he's going to be in the NHL. He can score goals, he can make plays, he plays physically, he's got great hands, 
He is a very high impact forward that can drive a line and make players around him better. He dominated the QMJHO and was the best player on Team Canada, who won gold at the World Juniors. And he did that as a draft eligible player too. He is ready to make an impact in the NHL right now, and we will see him in a Rangers uniform as soon as the NHL returns to play. You look at Lafreniere and you see a potential franchise player. With such a deep and talented prospect pool, the Rangers have some players that didn't make the cut that probably would have made some other teams top 5. For the honorable mentions, we have two more defensemen in Matthew Robertson and Zach Jones, along with winger Julian Gauthier. These are players to keep an eye on as well, and although we cap the honorable mentions at three players, there's still a couple guys that could have made it. Overall, the Rangers have a very deep prospect pool and one of the best in the NHL. Losing the players they did to graduation, but still having this good of a prospect pool is insane. You could make a very good argument that every prospect in their top 5 could be in almost every other team's top 5 as well. We know that they are loaded up front with players like Lafreniere, Panarin, and Zibanejad. But looking at their D prospects, this team is going to be deep in every area of the game. They've got such a young team with so many talented players still coming up through the ranks. The Rangers are a team to watch out for many years to come, and they are already good enough to be knocking on the door of the playoffs. Let us know in the comments what you think of these rankings, and which team you'd like to see us do next. You can see the rest of the videos of this series in the playlist in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and love hockey like us, then don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. This has been Billy from Puck Rivals, and I'll see you in the next video.